According to scientists, we only make use of one-tenth of our minds. This implies that the remaining 90% is squandered. Now, consider this, what if just 10% of the salary we get is what we use? Is it possible to live with just that 10%? That's impossible. It's also impossible to eat just one-tenth of the food we prepare. Leaving the other 90% is just a waste. The same way it is impossible to sleep one-tenth of eight hours, or just for 80 minutes daily. It is difficult to survive that way. Can we survive on one-tenth of oxygen? Definitely, no. So why did we choose this 10% sample? Think about life. Do you live a fulfilled life? Are you satisfied with where you are or what you have achieved or you feel there is room for improvement? There's a possibility that you're living up to just one-tenth of your capacities. Would you like to have the ability to improve your life a thousand percent better? I know to you, this sounds impossible or difficult. But take that thought out of your mind, it's the reason you live just one-tenth of your mind or even less. If you think 10% of the life you live is fine for you, please do not continue to read. If you are unsatisfied and wish to utilize the remainder, then let's continue. Imagine the greatness you're able to achieve with the use of your whole mind. There are numerous incredible teachers on the use of the mind, these include Maxwell Maltz, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Napoleon Hill, etc. These men are aware of the hidden strategy to use mind power and how to exploit it to the est. You have the most effective tool in this world, your mind, the subconscious mind. There is nothing that your mind does not know. It can give you all of the solutions if you use it the right way. Could bring about a wealthy, joyous, harmonious, and successful life for you. It is possible to achieve this in every area of your life. You are not to be blamed. No one was ever taught how the mind could be used. Forget about the past and let's build a fresh start. Forget about what happened previously, the important thing is what will happen from the onset. It is important to trust your mind the subconscious mind, to be convinced that it has the capacity to permit you to have an exciting and successful life. Let's begin with the fundamentals. Make your mind the subconscious mind, your alarm. Prior to falling asleep, tell it when you would like to be awake. Assuming you choose to wake up at 7 in the morning, before you go to sleep, remind your subconscious, I must be awake at 7 a.m., and when you say this, imagine a clock which says 7 o'clock. You must begin to change your life by establishing impressions to your subconscious mind. To do this, you must make affirmations and put certain ideas into your thought stream. For instance, assuming what you desire is a financial breakthrough, continuously repeat words like, I am successful, I am wealthy, ensure these words are repeated as many times as possible every day. Say it when you wake up in the morning and before you go to bed at night. Your mind is positioned in the alpha state at this time. Concentrate on these words when you utter them and ensure you mean what you are saying. Do not make it a task, that will not help you. It's also best to utter them during your meditation. This works for just anything. Always prevent negative affirmation and always profess positive affirmations. For instance, if you intend to stop smoking, say words like, I have healthy and pure lungs, and I'm free from cigarettes. The two words in the English language that hold great power are, I am, additionally, always ensure your thought is positive, prevent statements like, I'm poor, or, I've never been lucky, think greatly, I'm always lucky, and, everything always works for my good, or, I am successful and rich, if you find it hard to believe in yourself when saying these words, change them and make them more credible. You can begin by saying, I am growing wealthy. Whenever you find yourself in a difficult situation or are unable to make up your mind for a decision, get help from your subconscious. Assuming you are pondering on two different job opportunities and are unable to decide amongst the two, get help from your subconscious psyche. You can probably say, my wise subconscious mind, please, I need your assistance and direction on settling upon a decision which is most suitable for me, calm down and pay attention to your subconscious. Keep your eyes closed, if you want and try not to allow anything to get to you, just be calm and pay attention. 
If you do not get the answer immediately, that's fine. The answer is probably on its way and you may need to wait a bit more. But I am sure that you will get the answer and if it's not the subsequent day, it is the next week. Just be ready, you may get the answer from somewhere else, probably when you are awake. Your thoughts will be clear. You may hear or read anything that can shed more light on what should be done. Your answer might come when you coincidentally meet a friend, perhaps she might say what you need to do or the decision you need to make. Be patient, 